Greetings, Internet. This is Stefan. He's going to show us how to make PVC bows. It could be fancy. This bow probably costs about not even $2 to make. So, it shoots well. Shoots well enough to go a good distance and stick in a target, which and is. And lose an arrow in the woods. The goal. You need PVC pipe, about five foot of it. You're going to measure out your overall length first. Thank you. We are just over five foot, but we'll say five foot. Just two and a half feet for a half. Permanent marker. Just mark out the middle, 30 inches for five foot. You mark two inches on one side, two and a half on the opposite side. That's just where your hand rests. Yeah, that's for your hand. You mark a little bit under here because this will be recessed for an arrow rest. So this is just a two by four with aluminum foil on it, shiny side up. You use, you can use cardboard, anything, as long as you have some kind of insulator and the aluminum foil. So you use a heat gun and get a bunch of them. They vary in price. That's entirely up to you. When you do this, let it heat up a little bit first. Otherwise it's kind of pointless. But once it's up to temperature, you're just gonna Slowly move it. Don't stay in one place. If you do, you could burn the plastic and that is toxic. And it doesn't smell good. None of this smells good. So don't do that. <laughs> so don't do that. That's what it boils down to. You just do this and you'll see that the pipe will start to get a little bit puffy. It'll start to get flexible and soft. And at that point, once it's fully soft, we'll start to shape it. That is good. Okay, so don't touch it with your bare hands. That's hot. I don't feel much of my fingers, so I don't care. But don't do it. It's not smart. But anyways, once it is up to temperature, you should be able to take like a rag, get a little poke. It should flex. You want to make sure it's heated up evenly. You want to be fairly soft between that line and the end. And go ahead, turn that off. Put that right there. All right, I'm gonna put your end down. Squish. So more pressure at that end than this end. I usually do this on the floor, so I just stand on it. But I have a table today. It's great. It's amazing. This is, this is to get that fancy tapered effect, right? Yes. So this tapers the bow. It, uh, it'll strengthen it, turn it uh, a little bit more into a spring. If you leave it round like this, it'll work for a little while, but it'll eventually cave in on itself. So. Which is a no bueno. No. Then you have to make it again, which is never any fun. <laughs> Not that it's expensive or anything, but. <laughs> a lot of effort. Yeah. Now, it how just... long have you had the other ones you made? Uh, well, the one that I showed, I've had that one for about a year year and a half. Um, I have never unstrung that bow. It has had that string on it the entire time, which if you know anything about bows is technically not a good thing, but because it's PVC, who cares? Moral of the story. <laughs> All right, and then we have to hold this down, press this here until it cools like this. Yeah, it, it has to cool enough to where it's no longer flexible. Otherwise, it'll just go back to being a round pipe, and nobody wants that. All right, so this is still hot, so don't be grabbing it with your hands like I am, because I'm intelligent. But anyways, you got a nice taper to it. Skinny here, fatter around here. 
you want to let this kind of cool off and just kind of sit for a little bit. Uh, make sure your pipe is still straight along the sides. You don't want this to be angled like that or anything like that. When we go to do the other one, you just want to make sure everything is still lined up and these aren't twisted from each other. So when we do it, we need to make sure we keep this end flat so that when we flatten that, they line up. That's it, we just gotta sit here now. So this is the part where you can take to stretch, get a beverage, butt wiggle. Go poop. Butt wiggle. All the butt wiggles. Guys, the fact that she's... <laughs> Perfect. All the butt wiggles. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Believe it or not, that helps make your bow stronger. Yeah, it's like witchcraft. Mm -hmm. It just works. Yep. And thus the process begins again. And then one more time after that. Basically. <laughs> so something worth mentioning is when you do go to flatten it, you want to try and make sure the pipe is as straight as you can make it. If it's not, and it's got like, we have a little bit of a curve here, when you flatten it, that curve is going to show up, and then you're going to have to try and fix it later. Fix it now. It works better. How do you fix it? Um, if you're dumb like me, you use your fingers. Just kind of like that, and then flatten it. If you're so not you dumb, be, you have like gloves or a towel. You can like, like that? Basically. And then we quickly flatten it before it curves back. It helps to have help. Brennan, I'm gonna use your help. I'm gonna need you to keep this end right here flat. Pressure right around here though. Alright, just keep everything lined up. More heat. And I'd say that's good. If you wanna give it a quick straighten. Okay. That's good. Do that. The more weight on that end, the better. So if you want to like lay on it, sit on it, <laughs> stand on it, she's got a pretty good technique going. I don't think we can butt wiggle while we do this. <laughs> We're infusing the bow with more power, I yeah. swear. All the powers. <laughs> if you run into this where you see this end is a little bit crooked from this end, don't panic. If it's still warm, wearing gloves or a rag. Here, I'll practice, I guess, safety. Just twist it a little bit and hold it. You want these to be fairly in line with each other. Because, uh, you know, it's bow, so it's gotta be straight. <laughs> the more precise, the better. <laughs> right. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the better, the, you know, the better it's gonna shoot. So, most little imperfections can accommodate Right. Like I said, I mean, it's a PVC bow. It's not a precision piece of machinery. You're not going to, you know, shoot the eyeball out of a squirrel from 100 feet away. If you can, I'd say I'd give you a million dollars, but I'm not going to chance it. The nice thing about this is, say, you make your bow, you shoot it, and pulling it back, and this limb decides to completely fold over, and, you know, you're like, oh, well, my bow's broken. As long as it doesn't shatter, you can take the string off, bring it back over here, take your heat gun, heat it up, and it'll turn back into a circle, and then you just flatten it and shape it again, and you have a functioning bow again. Now, like, does it matter how many times you reheat it and reshape it? Like, is it going to make it any weaker by doing that? No. Um, if you do decide that you don't like the way it's shaped and you want to reheat a flat part, like this, don't heat up the edge. Um, that could cause it to split. Uh, focus on the main body. It'll slowly start to puff out and turn around again, and then you can start rotating it around and doing it. But don't leave it in direct sunlight for very long periods of time. If it's not painted, anyways, these uh, react with UV. It, it will. It could cause it to become brittle and stuff like that. So um, now we're going to shape the actual handle part. We have these three lines here. This is the part you're going to flatten out, and you don't flatten it this way because it defeats the purpose. You're going to turn the bow on its side, you're going to heat up between these lines, and then you're going to... I like to use a rag for it, you can do it however you want, but 
you just kind of push it in, move back and forth a little bit until it starts to cool and hold its shape. And you want that to be flat going the opposite direction of the other two ends. Right. Okay. When you're doing it, try and keep your limbs straight up and down, otherwise you're going to have a crooked handle. No one wants that. And you have this side of the bow here that's sitting against this. You want to try and keep that flat against it. That's so that it's only offset to the one side, and that's the side the arrow is going to go on. Now, if you're left-handed, you're going to have to flip it over and do it that side, or you know, depending which way you decide is your bottom, or if they're even, it doesn't really matter. With this bow, you could form it on one side, and then realistically, just voila. Now we're heating it up. Hot! Good to go! All right. Yeah, nice and burny. Yeah. So again, this is one of those things you want to make sure that your ends stay relatively straight. So we're going to put it a little bit this way here. Alright. Hold straight, hold straight, and it's loose. That's all you do, you just kind of smush it in. Move back and forth. And it'll slowly harden and hold its shape. Now we're going to put in the little notches, well, mark where the notches are going to go for the string to sit. Um, I usually go about one inch from the end. This is where the file comes in. So, right, you said curved part of the file towards the end. Right, right? curved part of the file towards the end. You're going to want to go in probably about a quarter inch. You want to make sure that the string is enough there to grab onto and not slip out every time you let the string go or pull it back. Or, you know, look at it funny. Now these don't have to be perfectly matched up or even, but if you can, I recommend trying to make sure it's nice and even. This can be done with one person. I've made all my other bows on my own, but I have help today, so I'm using it. So, you'll notice on this bow it has a slight curve forward. I put that in there on purpose. It's going to give it a little bit more draw strength and just, you know, a little bit more resistance. So, the string is paracord. You can get it at Home Depot. It's dirt cheap. It's like 10 cents for a foot, I think, or a yard. I bought 150 yards for less than 18, or 150 feet for less than $18. All right, so when you do your knot, for the loop, you take it, make a loop just like this. I'll give myself a little bit more room here so you do it a little bit clearer, just like this. All you do is you wrap it around your finger, pull your finger out, and push your loop through it and pull. Now take the bow. All right, keep in mind that this is for a right-handed person. So the handle's going to be here. We got the slight curve forward. Start at the bottom. Seat that in those little notches. Don't put tension on it, but run it up. You want to be a couple inches shorter than your notches. Um, I usually go roughly anywhere from three to five inches. It depends on the bow. Keep in mind when you tie it, it's going to be a little bit shorter. It'll probably be about here. Also, don't cut it until you have the right size. So yeah, it's a lot shorter. Now we're going to connect this. I mean, it's a lot lower than this, so you have to force it. But there's an easy way to do it. You can try it this way. We Honestly, you're just going to hurt yourself or someone else or break it somehow magically. Step over with your right leg. If you're right-handed, if you're left-handed, do your left leg. With your left leg, Brace the other limb on your shin and use your body weight to pull it forward like this. All right, so I'm just twisting my body. Twist, on, knock, strong. So that is a strung bow. If you're me, you will leave this like this for the rest of its life unless it fails, because it's PVC. You can use better stuff than knives, but this is what I got. Once you're done doing that, 
take a lighter. It's paracord, it's made out of plastics. Um, if you leave it like this, it will fray. It'll eventually come apart even up there. So just melt it, it melts. And we're just using what we just today discovered was called lawn staples for the arrow rest thing. Right, this is uh, an arrow rest. It'll keep the arrow off your hand. Because um, if you, especially if you run like traditional where you have turkey feathers and stuff like that, you the feather itself can actually cut you. All I do is I take that, put 290 degree bur uh, burns, <laughs> 290 degree bends in it. But they don't have to be super perfect, but you know, well 90 degree bends, roughly. That's not quite 90, no, but, not 90 but you know. You get the idea. All right, and you just line it up on here. Figure out where you want your hand. That's where these little notches here, well, not notches, but marks are. Line it up there. Good. All right, great. I'm ready. there you have a PVC bow that is perfectly functional with a SpongeBob handle with a SpongeBob handle this is very homemade and it works so can you grab me one of those arrows yeah all right we're gonna go see just how well it works welcome to the backyard this is where we're gonna be shooting it not her she's not the target don't worry here grows testing the bow that we just made Let's miss the target. <laughs> this, this is another bow. One is a, has a little bit more oomph behind it. This is one he had made a while ago. You said you had this one how long? A uh, year and a half. Year and a half? I have not unstrung this bow once. It's had this string on the entire time. Oh. Nice. Fancy. You look so happy. I am. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to hit the target. Just remember to use your fingertips, otherwise uh, you might roll the string. <laughs> that was actually impressive in itself. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly where I wanted it to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's just amazing. Yes, it's hard. You want to pull straight back. Like that. Closer. Yeah. Get in there. There you go. That looks good. A little high. Almost. Okay. Ooh, little left. Hey! Ah, I did it. <laughs> I did it. And I did it all thanks to our awesome friend Stefan, so you can check out his channel somewhere over here. He literally just started it, so make sure you go send him lots of love and encouragement. My channel should be somewhere over here. Please subscribe. If I can figure it out, there should be some other videos up here. If not, then woo, fancy hand things, and that's all you're going to get. But you can always go to my channel and check out more down here somewhere. You can like and comment and do all the things, so please do those things. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!